Hi guys, welcome back to another episode where we talk some of the best Cody add-ons around at the moment. Now there's lots in today's video, including an add-on that's back and better than ever. Hi guys, it's SBYT and like I said, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm going to jump straight onto Cody and I've got three add-ons for you today. And if you don't have them, they are all top, top notch. So we're going to jump on. I'm going to show you what the add-ons are, what they do, and then of course how to install them on your Cody system. Okay, so the first add-on I'm going to show you is one called Genie TV. And as you can see, once you open it up, you've got a Wizard, Streams, Tommy Sports, GT Live, Music, Tools and Maintenance. So it's kind of a bit of a, an all-in-one. Um, if we click on Streams... You've got favorite search, stream team, BAMP 5P TV, movies, stream categories, boss docs, uh, boss comedy, free view, kids, and TV shows. Tommy Sports, we just click on that. As you can see, you've got today's games, live sport on GTV, Tommy Sports, and Premier League table. Your GTV Live, if we just click on that. You do need to actually go to the website for this as you need to set up a username and password. I'm not gonna do that, but if you want to, you can do that as well. You've got a music section. And as you can see, you've got Raves, Ravers, uh, Quicksilver, Radio, uh, Music Channels, UK Radio, World Radio, Concerts, Music Videos, Music, and uh, Music Search. You've got a maintenance section if we just click on that. As you can see, you've got a Kill Cody, Speed Test, View Log File, Delete Cache, Packages, Refresh, Check My IP, and Android Only, Delete Texture Thumbnails, things like that. So again, loads of handy things in there. And you've got a Tool section. So in there, you've got APK Tool, you've got Add-ons, Build the Toolbox, Genie RSS Feed, Contact Us, uh, open settings, source list, and guide skins. Now, one thing I don't like about this add-on is the actual colored bar, the blue bar. You can't actually see what's underneath once you click on, once you go over it because it's got blue writing underneath, but that's a, it's a minor point, but just a, a personal preference for me if they were to change it. Now, obviously with things like Stream Team and BAMP 5P TV, they were add-ons in their own right. They've kind of gone into this Genie TV. So if we click on Stream Team, for example, it loads up and you've got uh, Roadrunner Streams, Raz TV, Technica Systems, Pandora's Box. So all in that section there. If we were to click on Pandora's Box, for example, open Pandora's Box, it would have another load of different things on there. So again, it's it's got a load of goodies within this one add-on. And the same, I'll just click on BAM 5P TV again, just to quickly show you. And again, you've got loads of different stuff on there, as you can see, loads of different channels, loads of different live TV channels on here. And again, as you can see, I'm, I'm only literally just right at the top. I'm not going to go through all of them because it would take me too long. But as you can see, lots of good content on there. Click on Movies. And it's got top rated movies, Popcorn Box, Desri Flicks, Film Trailers and Classic Movies, TV Shows. And you've got Search Series, uh, The Source, Watch Series, I Watch Series, Return Dates, Classic TV and TV Show Trailers. So again, loads of good content on there. Kids. And you've got search cartoons, watch cartoons online, cartoons, more cartoons, and anime land. So again, all grouped into that one section. So it's a, it, all in all, it's a great add-on for lots of different content. So that's the first add-on I'm going to show you today. I'm now going to show you how to install Genie TV onto your Kodi system. So what you want to do on your back out onto your main menu, you want to go to the settings to at the top. You then want to go down to where it says File Manager. You then want to click on add source. And the source you want to put in is http colon forward slash forward slash genietv.co.uk forward slash repo. Name it whatever you want down here. I've named it as genie. And then you want to click on OK. Once you've clicked on OK, then you want to come out by pressing escape or back on your box or whatever. And you want to go back again to the main menu. Once you're on the main menu, you want to go to your add-ons, click on that, and then go to the top where it has the box opening file at the top left. Click on that, and then go to install from zip file. Once you click on install from zip file, you then want to scroll down and find Genie or whatever you've named it as, and click on that. 
and it will open up and it's got repository.gmetv. Click on that and after a few seconds, it will say add on enable the top right hand side. At that point, you then go to install from repository and you want to scroll down to gmetv repo. So click on that and then you want to click on video add-ons and as you can see Genie TV Origin, click on that and where it says uninstall it will say install for you. It will then be on your Kodi system in your add-ons. The second add-on I'm going to show you today, I was actually asked by the developer of this add-on to review it but a lot of people do ask me for motorsports and things like that so again there's loads of stuff in here and in the actual repo that this comes with which I'll show you it's a brilliant repository for loads of different sports but in here you've got MotoGP replays, um, Formula One stuff, you've got World Superbike replays, you've got European touring cars, uh, British touring cars, World Touring cars, you've got World Rally cars, You've got British Rallycross, Speedway, you know, there's loads of different modes of stuff in here. So if you are like a racing fan, then again, there's loads of different content in here for you. I will just click on a couple just to show you what's within these sections. So if you click on Formula One replays, as you can see, there's loads of stuff in here, loads of different races. Um, so if you do miss a race, you can come in here and watch it. And I'll also click on MotoGP replays quickly. And again, as you can see, you've got round one return to Qatar, 26th of March. Uh, you've got loads of different rounds here that you can scroll through and actually watch the actual races so again brilliant brilliant content all in here and all uh, updated very very regularly so that's a really really quick one for you there i'm going to show you how to install that now as well as showing you the rest of that repository because it is like i said great for sport so what you want to do is you want to go out to your main menu and you want to click on the settings cog at the top you want to scroll down to file manager and you want to go to add source right at the bottom there. When you click on add source, this is the source you're gonna to wanna to put in. So it's http colon forward slash forward slash the community repo dot net a dot net. Name it whatever you want. I've named it as com repo down here. Uh, and then you wanna click on okay. Once you've done that, you then want to come out of this by pressing escape or back uh, and out again, back to your main menu. And you want to go to where it says add-ons. You click on add-ons and then you want to go right to the top where it has this little box opening uh, icon there. So you click on that and then you go to where it says install from zip file. So once you click on install from zip file, you then want to scroll to where it says com repo or whatever you've named it as. And once you click on that, it then opens up and you've got comwiz repo plugins or zip. You want to click on the zip one. And then you want to click on repository community repo. So click on that. After a few seconds, it will say add on enabled top right hand side. At which point you then want to go to install from repository. Once you click on that, you then got all your repositories in here and we have just added the community repository. So we click on that and we scroll to video add-ons. And then as you can see, these are all of the different sports add-ons in here. Motor replays is there. We would click on that and we would click on where it says uninstall, it would say install for you and you'd click on install and it would be on your Kodi system. But like I said, have a look at how many different sports add-ons there are in this one repository. So UFC's finest, great for live and replayed UFC. You've got WWE on YouTube, you've got WWE on demand, you've got live premiership, gym world, real movies, fish tank, not really sure what fish tank is, uh, Motor replays, like we said, live ATC, Maverick TV, R Sports, and YouTube. So loads of different sports add-ons all within this one repository, just using that one source link. And the final add-on is an all-in-one add-on, and within it has something that you guys loved before, and it's back. So the add-on is, of course, Phoenix, a brilliant all-in-one. I reviewed it in my top 10 for 2017 because it's, it's ever-present. Uh, you've got Phoenix TV, Phoenix Sports, Phoenix new releases, Incredible TV, Cosmics, Crusaders, uh, Divas Den, More Power, 124, 2, 4, 1, 5. 
that was a mouthful. Uh, and then of course, there's a few others, but the main one we're looking at today is of course the Alpha Reborn, which I mentioned in a previous video, it was joining with Phoenix um, and going into the add-on. And of course, here it is. So you've got 3D section, 4K section, uh, Alpha movies, Comedy Corner, Her Alpha, movie box sets, new releases, stream scene, and TV shows. And, and it's of course being added to all the time. So 3D movies, we'll click on that. And as you can see, these are all 3D movies. You know, it's constantly being updated and, and it's brilliant. Um, Alpha was always a, a top go-to add-on for a lot of people and it's great to see it back. So they were just the 3D movies. You've then got 3D documentaries and there's a few on here. Um, and again, you just click on it and it goes through to the content. We'll just quick, quick, we'll just quickly show you the 4K section. So 4K movies. And as you can see again, Still not a massive amount because there's not a massive amount of 4K content available at the moment, but in terms of 4K add-ons, this has probably more than most, um, to be honest. So it is a very good go-to section. And again, like I said, it's updated all the time and it's being added to a lot. And then you've got 4K movies, Real De Brit accounts as well. So if you do have a Real De Brit account, as you can see, there's lots of stuff in here as well. Um, but of course you will need a Real De Brit account to watch this, I would imagine. And that's pretty much it, guys. I won't go into the other sections of Phoenix because I have, like I said, done videos on that. If you want to see a full review of the Phoenix add-on, I will leave a link to that video, which had loads of add-ons in there, including Phoenix. Uh, and you can watch that. I'm gonna show you how to install that now. So you wanna be on your main homepage of your Kodi. You want to go to your settings cog at the top. You then wanna scroll down to where it says file manager. Click on that. And then go to where it says add source. And you wanna click on that. Once there, you've then got uh, this source that you need to put in. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons. .ag, name whatever you want, I've named it as Fusion, and then click on OK. Once you've clicked on OK, you then wanna click on Escape, or Back, and then Back again, and you've got the homepage here, so you then wanna click on Add-ons, and you wanna to scroll to the top where it says, where you've got the box file opening section. <laughs> Said that too many times. Uh, so you want to click on that bit there and then you want to click on install from zip file. Once you've installed from zip file, you then want to scroll down to where it says Fusion or whatever you've named it as and click on that. Then you want to go to Kodi repos. Then you want to go to English. And you want to scroll down to where it says repository.xbmc hub 1.0.7.zip. Click on that. After a few seconds, it will say add on enable top right hand side, at which point you go to install from repository. So we click on that. And then we scroll down to where it says TV add ons, uh, add on repository. Click on that. Then you want to click on video add ons. And then you want to scroll to where it says Phoenix, click on that. And then again, where it says uninstall, it will say install for you. Click on that and it will be installed on your Kodi system. So question of the day, I'd love to know as we're talking sort of new add-ons and things like that, what is your favorite new add-on which has just come out in the Kodi world? And also, which add-on that's gone that you'd like to see return, just like the Alpha? Remember, these are third-party add-ons and they're not created or affiliated by the Kodi Foundation or myself. They are third-party developers that, of course, use the open source Kodi platform. That's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then drop that little like button for me. Share it with your friends and family if you think they might like any of these add-ons. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do five videos a week, all dedicated to Kodi, media streaming, and device and app reviews in the tech world. I've got tons of content coming this week alone with device reviews, with Kodi builds, Kodi add-ons, sports. It's all coming. So I'll love you and leave you. Have a wonderful week ahead. It's ASBYT, peace out. Hi guys, it's ASBYT and today we're talking a wonderful way in which you can learn to code yourself.